hey hey you guys how are you doing today and welcome to another segment of cooking with the dorseys of course i am your host chef sonia dorsey you know me the chef with the green hair you know i had told my husband i was like you know what to add on to the ethnicity ethnicity the, the ethnicity yeah the authentic, authenticity that's the word i'm looking for I was going to start wearing my chef uniform, but you know what? It is hot as Hades up in here with that chef uniform on. So you guys know me anyway. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm excited today because today I will be making a funnel cake. I'll be doing a funnel cake demo. Um, pretty happy today. Today has been a good day, even though it's dreary outside. I know you guys are a little bit far away. That's only because my production team aka chef keith dorsey is not here to do production but hey you know we're gonna make it do what it do um i need to grab one more thing and i thought i had grabbed everything before i press the going live button but you know sometimes i don't i'm gonna turn this down a little bit so since i'm doing funnel cakes i already have my grease on the fire getting ready and I wanted to get the little squeeze bottle because that's what I'm going to make my little funnel type thing with. Kind of doing this um, homemade little funnel thing. And I know that a lot of places that make funnel cakes, these are actually what they use. Um, but they use the long tube ones. And since I'm not really making, hey Carrie, since I'm not really making um, that much, I am going to, hey Alanda, now you guys, um... My production team is, is not set up right now. So I, um, the, the, my phone is pretty far back and that's what I use to record with. <clears throat> so if I don't answer you right off, I apologize. I'm kind of trying to focus on doing the demo and um, keeping focus on what's going on. So I'm working on that part. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. It's a little chilly outside. Um, I'm here in Arlington, and it's raining a little bit, but, you know, we'll get past that as well. So, did I get everything I needed? Yep. Alrighty. So, for the demo, I needed a cup and a half of milk. I needed two eggs, which I'm going to use happy eggs, as I call them. Cool beans. That's what Carrie said. Um, my happy eggs. I got a tablespoon of baking powder. I got a teaspoon of cinnamon, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of sugar, and then I got a couple of other things um, that I thought was pretty cool. So we're going to add a little hint of vanilla to our funnel cake. But if you want to just get real razzle dazzle and get real crazy with it, um, you can get red velvet. You can use the red velvet emotions, or you can use the blueberry. So that way you'll kind of have um, flavored funnel cakes all right i'm gonna go ahead and open that now so what you're gonna do if you want to funnel it with with this particular squeeze bottle you're gonna want to open up the top a little bit so we're gonna take a knife and that just also depends on how thick you want your funnels to be so i'm just gonna kind of cut around here and take it off and that's going to give me a pretty decent sized hole for my funneling and of course you know you kind of hold it and then you kind of funnel it out <clears throat> if you want the thinner ribbons with your um with your funnel you can leave this tip on i do not recommend that because then you're going to have real real you know real thin scriggle i call them scrigglies but real thin um patterns with your funnels and then it may not adhere as it should so that may be something to consider as well. All right, let's go ahead and get started. As always, we always start off. Hey, Rochelle. We always start off with. So we're going to go ahead and crack our eggs. And that decided it wanted to drop shells in my mix. All right, we got two eggs. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pour my milk in. So that's a cup and a half of milk. And I'm going to add my flavor. Now I do have some clear vanilla. Herman, Herman, can you please send me the funnel cake with the straw? <laughs> By UPS. Uh, and no. Hey, Letha. Letha said, are you doing the drippings too? So Letha, um... I'm going to show you guys a 
a couple of things. I do have um I do have some powdered sugar that I'm gonna drizzle on top, but um I didn't make any chocolate drizzle, and that was only because I don't really eat chocolate, and there's nobody else here besides me and the little guy to eat it, so I didn't want to waste the chocolate, but I will include a chocolate recipe when I post the recipe. All right, so we're going to do just about a half of a teaspoon of vanilla flavor. That's just going to give us a little bit more flavor. Hey, Manny. Hey, brother. How are you? And all right, so we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead, y'all make it be laugh. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my cinnamon. I'm gonna add my fourth of a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna add my sugar. All right, so my eggs are already in. My fourth of a teaspoon of salt. So I'm kind of cheating today. I'm gonna use my um my electric whisk. So I normally whip everything by hand, but today I'm just cheating just a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of mix everything up. All right, see, that was easy. So that just went ahead, kind of whipped everything. Now, if you guys don't mind, I would love, love, love for you guys to share my videos. All right. So we got everything kind of whisked together. Now I'm going to take my strainer. Hello, Michael. How are you? And I'm going to strain in, sift in I have my strainer. I'm going to take my sifter and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sift in half of my flour mixture. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sift in my baking powder not baking soda i'm gonna sift in my baking powder so now i'm just gonna take a take a spatula and just kind of incorporate it so the thing is with the batter you don't want the batter to be too wet um it'll kind of mess it up mess up your your funnel um you don't want your batter to be too dry keep it from dripping out so when my dear used to make these funnel cakes, she used to also add, um, she used to also add a little butter in hers. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do that just yet, but I am going to go ahead. Oh, look at there. I'm getting ahead of myself. <clears throat> All right, let's sift a little bit more of the flour in. And we just sift it to kind of get rid of the lumps and bumps and humps and all of that good stuff. So this batter is smelling so good. Oh my gosh. All right. So you want to make sure that everything is incorporated. You want to make sure that you can. Hey, Lynn from Oklahoma. Hey, Lynn, we are making funnel cakes. All right. So what I'm going to do now, after I've incorporated it really good, so you see the kind of mixture is kind of stiff, and that's kind of what you want to go for. Just to kind of make sure that my, my batter is the way I want it, and it's, it's incorporated enough, I'm going to take my whisk, and I'm just going to kind of whisk it. And you can do this with a hand whisk. Lynn, yum. I gotta get the. Oh, y'all make a rum cake, girl. All right. So I think my batter is perfect. Look at there. And I just want to kind of whisk it a little bit more just to make sure. That you're gonna get a restaurant in G. Hallelujah. I receive it in Jesus' name. All right, so we're gonna take our whisk off. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this. Now, remember, you guys, whenever you guys are working with items like this, what's the name of your hand mixer? Um, it's a fiberware. 
Yeah, it's just a little fiber wear. I got this from Walmart um, some time ago. Okay, so I have my grease over here getting hot. And since it's getting hot, I'm going to turn it down a little bit. So now, look at this, you guys. Isn't that beautiful? So this is our funnel cake mix. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all of this. Now, for easy pouring, I am going to put it in my pouring mixer. Now, why did not mix it in this mixer to begin with? Because it's not deep. I mean, it's not wide enough. So it wouldn't have given me enough depth to be able to... Um, to be able to mix it like I want it to. And why am I not pouring it right into the funnel? Because I don't want to get a mess everywhere. And this has a spout on it. All right. So while, I, while I'm pouring this, I will ask you guys, hey, Miss Mary. Miss Mary says, hey, you did catch me this time, Miss Mary. Um, I would ask, like to ask you guys, if you will, share my video and ask people to join us on our lives. Whew. All right. All right, so we have enough to make it. So if you don't mind, share my videos and ask people to join us on live. So for those of you who are just joining, we just did a funnel cake video. I'm so excited about funnel cake because we don't know if we're going to be able to go to the fair this year. We don't know what's going on. So guess what? If you can't go to the fair, if you can't get out your house, then you can make a funnel cake at home. All right. All right. So now we're going to bring our apparatus over. I can turn this off. And now. All right. Let's move our grease. So I went ahead and heated this up. Now be careful when you're heating up your grease and everything. You don't want to burn yourself. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. Let's see. Woo, it's hot. All right. So you can actually make a funnel cake out of, you know, pretty much things that you have at home. All you have to have is your flour, your eggs, your milk. Um, Like I said, Mama did. She added a little butter in hers. That's okay if you want to add a little butter. But cinnamon, vanilla, sugar, and then a little um, confection of sugar. And so, as a treat, like I was telling you guys, if you want to do, like, flavors with your funnel cakes, of course, that would be so cute to add red velvet, or you can add blueberries. So, then you have the flavor that's incorporated into your funnel cakes. Now, since I'm unable to go to the store and kind of get the fresh fruits that I normally want that I will work with, I have some Smucker's All Natural Strawberry Jam. Now, what you guys probably don't know is a lot of times when you go to the fair and you get these funnel cakes, that's what you're eating anyway. A lot of people don't have time to make it fresh. They don't make it fresh. And this is just as good. You can make, you can also make a, um, a chocolate drizzle to go on it. I can include a chocolate drizzle recipe for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a little bit of the strawberry. And see, it's just regular strawberry preserves. And it's going to taste so amazing on top of our funnel cake. All right, our grease is almost ready. And we're going to get ready to make this funnel cake. I thank you guys for joining me today. I ask you guys to share our videos. Remember to share, watch, um, follow us on Instagram, Chef Sonia Dorsey. Hello, Miss Lynn says seven dollars at the fair. And look, you can spend that one seven dollars and you can make enough for the whole house. How about that? All right, so we don't want to have our fire too high because we don't want to burn. Um, we don't want our funnel cake to cook too, 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 too fast. All right, so let me get this out so you guys can see it as soon as it comes out the fire. All right, ready. So you start, and you're just going to kind of squiggle it around. Squiggly, wriggly, squiggly. And it doesn't have to be any certain particular kind. And you only do it as wide as you want it to cook. Remember that. Look at that. Yum, yum, yum. So you let that fry. Got a fire on you. So you let that cook. You guys are going to love this recipe. This recipe um, has been handed down, and I know a lot of people um, look at fried pies and stuff like that. I totally caught you like, <laughs> hey! <laughs> All righty, we're going to make, oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. So that looks beautiful. 
We're going to fry it. We're going to let it cook a little bit more. We're going to let it cook till it turns brown. It's good to see you, doll. All right. So for those of you who are just joining us, we are making homemade funnel cakes. All right. So let's look at the bottom. It's not quite brown. So we're going to let that brown. I'm so excited about you guys joining me for funnel cakes because funnel cakes are delicious they're amazing and they're fun to make you guys can make them with your kids while we're all at home kind of you know doing nothing all right we're gonna let that get a little bit more browner now if you like to to go ahead and kind of speed up the process you can go ahead and flip it now the brownness depends on you how brown you actually want it so this is starting to look like the fair to me. Mine's are better than the fair. Okay, I'm just going to, I'm going to go ahead and put that out there. So I'm going to put this here because when I fix the next one, I want you guys, and I mean, have fun with this. You know, how fun is that to make homemade funnel cakes at your own place of residence in your house while you and your kids are enjoying this time together in the kitchen? Hey. <laughs> All righty, so I'm going to put some more of the batter in here while that's cooking. And we'll make our next one. All right, you guys. So you ready? And voila, look at that. Funnel cake. Isn't that beautiful? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make our next one. Now, you guys, Miss Mary, Miss Mary says, my daughter is the good. She cooks it. Okay, okay. Well, you tell her that I said, come on, cook with me one of these days. So now we're going to make a old crazy looking funnel cake. We're going to, you know what I'm saying? You know, the possibilities are endless with this, y'all. It don't have to be the little cute funnel cake that you can fix this. Look at that. We can just do something crazy with that. All right. So you guys see this? This is a homemade funnel cake. And now I'm just letting it, uh, I'm just letting it rest over there for a moment. This is the same funnel cake that you get at the fair. I'll accept they're more, they're delicious. They're more delicious. A, you made it at home yourself. And you was able to add all the extra amazing stuff that goes in them. Now, for that same $7 that you pay to get a funnel cake at the fair, you can spend $7 on these ingredients and have endless funnel cakes. What about that? All right. So let's see. So let's let it cook a little bit more. Now, cooking time is kind of at your, I will post the recipe, Miss Karen. All right, let's turn that over. Now, the cooking time is at your discretion. I would give it maybe five, ten minutes to kind of brown on each side. Look at this. Oh, my God. That's delicious. All right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Homemade funnel cakes. Who would have thunk it, huh? Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? <laughs> All right, you guys. So let's let that cook a little bit more. You guys will absolutely love this recipe. Miss Mary. You are <laughs> Ebony, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do something after all of this is over. I'm gonna have to do a live cooking demo so you guys can absolutely look at this. Look at this, you guys. Homemade funnel cake. You didn't even have to go to the fair. You did, did you know that your local chef can do it for you? What are you? What am I gonna put on the top? I am going to sift in. All right, let's turn this off for a second. All right, so we're gonna sift over. We're gonna sift some powdered sugar. Sift some powdered sugar over it. Same way you would do if you was at the fair. We'll sip some powdered sugar over it. And since we're getting into how amazing it's looking, look at this, you guys. Can you post? The, yes, I'll post the recipe. I will most definitely post the recipe. And now we're going to take this one. You can put chocolate drizzle on it. You can put fresh strawberries. We're just going to heap a little strawberry preserve on top of there. You can do fresh blueberries, kind of whatever you like to do. That's kind of up to you. 
Um, but yes, so this is my recipe. And for you guys who are just tuning in again, we I am making homemade funnel cakes. So once you taste these funnel cakes and once you make them for your family, I can assure you, I can assure you, you will never eat them at the fair ever again. You will love it because it's a lot of fun making them. And it's a lot of fun eating them because that's what I'm going to do after I finish. Hey, Rosanna. Thank you so much. I have been making, I have been making funnel cakes since I was a little bitty girl. So you guys remember I am a Louisiana native. And so, and I keep, I keep saying that just to let you guys know that, you know, we're, I mean, where I'm from, food is everything. You know what I'm saying? Food is like everything. So one, one more time. Let's do this. Let's show you guys how it works. Okay. So you can kind of funnel this how you want it. Have fun with it. Go across the top. You can even make it as wide as you want. Just make sure that when you're doing it and it's going wide that you connect it. You just want to, that's the one thing that you want to make sure that you do. That as you're pouring, you connect them. Okay? So here are the funnel cakes that I made previously. I'm so excited. I thank you guys for joining me. Alrighty. And I may have to wait. On, hey, I'm new. Hey, love, how are you? So if you want the videos that I'm doing to pop up, all you do is it's going to give you the option when Chef Sonia goes live, then it'll pop up and let you know that I'm going live in order for you to see the videos. And I thank you guys for sharing. I want you guys to keep on sharing. Now, this is going to be a big one, you guys. So I'm really excited about this. I can't really see your comments, but I am going to answer them as soon as I get off the line. Let me get a big plate for this one. All right, so we're going to get a big plate for this one. So this one is really big. Look at that. Ooh. Lord have mercy. So we did a huge one for this one, you guys. Yes, I will share the recipe. Mm, mm, mm. Now that is so good. Yum, yum, yum. All right. So we have a kind of small one, medium size, and we did this big, huge one. We'll let that cook a little bit more. It's not a lot of mess, and it's a lot of fun. You guys, I'm asking everybody, Miss Mary, I'm glad my husband's family is from there. <laughs> yeah, it makes a difference with the cooking. I promise you it does. All right. So look at this one, you guys. Look at there. This is a giant funnel cake, okay? Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? That is beautiful. Now we just let it drain on the grease a little bit. All right, I'm going to be very, very careful here. and I'm going to take the grease back on this side. We'll let that cool down. I'm going to take my apparatus, move it around, everything's out. All right, you guys, what do you guys think? I'm going to make as so okay as soon as I post the recipe, I will let you guys know. Look at this, isn't that beautiful? This is a homemade funnel cake. Now, I will ask you if you're looking to make this recipe, I will ask that you follow the recipe to the T. Um, if you alter it, you may alter the way the batter is. Um, the way the batter comes out, so you you know, just kind of, you may want to just kind of follow this recipe to the tea. All right, so let's go ahead and let's shake up some powdered sugar on here. And voila, look at there. So that concludes today's demo. Um, I'm still kind of figuring what I'm going to do for tomorrow. I'm not sure, but thank you guys for joining. Look at these. These are beautiful. These are amazing. These are homemade funnel cakes. For those of you who just kind of popped in, um, these are homemade funnel cakes. I will post the recipe for my funnel cakes. Now, let me tell y'all something. These are my trade secrets. 
And since we're quarantined right now, and you guys are unable to come and do a cooking show with me, I mean, do a um, cooking class with me, I'm offering this stuff for free. Go figure. And all I'm asking in return is that you guys share our videos, please. Share them. Um, follow us on Instagram. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, Katita. I, I'm, I'm going to post this in a minute. Follow us. Um, If you go ahead and follow on Instagram, Chef Sonya Dorsey, please go subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to start putting all of our videos on YouTube, and I'm going to start going live from YouTube. So that's Talking With Flavor on YouTube, and it's T-A-L-K-I-N-G with W-I-T-H-F-L-A-V-A. -A. As far as following this and um, please, please, please share these videos. Look at this, you guys. We made homemade funnel cakes. <laughs> Look at this, you guys. Homemade funnel cakes. And please, please, please share this video. We just went live and made homemade funnel cakes. I'm going to go ahead and post these pictures. And I'm going to post the recipe. And I want you guys to try these recipes and then tag me in them to let me know that you tried the recipe. This is fun. This is something you can do with your family and eat up. You know what I'm saying? While we're all down on this little quarantine thing, we can all get together and we can eat and be happy. <laughs> that's, at least that's what I'm going to do. Eat, cook, and be happy. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead now. Oh, and um, so a few questions answered in my head. I'm thinking people are asking, how long does the batter last? This batter will last for 72 hours. I would that's three days. I wouldn't use it after the 72 hour period. You can use it, but it may start to getting a little rancid. So I would only make enough to cook. And uh, with this recipe that I'm gonna post. That'll get you about six good, uh, this is the three out of it. I still have one complete container left, plus I have a little bit of batter left. So this will probably make, probably make enough for about 10 people. So I still wouldn't half it. Um, I will go ahead and make it and then save some for later. 72 hours at the least. Um, I wouldn't go over a week because the, the mix will start getting rancid. Um, it'll start expanding. Remember, as, as long as the liquid is in the flour, it'll continue to make it expand. Okay? All right, you guys. Well, this has been a marvelous video. I have had an amazing time with you, Miss Jennifer. I will be trying at the end of April. Yay! Awesome! Well, remember, we... um. Besides doing cooking classes, I am an ex-culinary arts instructor. We cater. We make designer cakes. Um, our cake page is definitely Dorsey Designer Cakes and Catering. And we also have a seasoning and sauce line, which is Saucy Sonia Spices and Sauces. To order our seasonings and our sauces, you can go to SaucySoniaSpices.com. I love you guys. I hate to leave y'all. Y'all are so amazing. I'm going to go ahead and get this recipe out because I know you guys want to try this. So you guys have a great rest of your day. Again, this is what the demo was today. Homemade funnel cakes. I have so many more amazing and fun videos and demos for you guys because I want you guys to be cooking and having a good time. I love you guys. Y'all have a blessed rest of y'all day. Make these funnel cakes for them babies now and for you. Oh, and get your dip of ice cream and put your top some on the top of it. I love you guys.